What's up, YouTube? That's all beats back with another video today one of my subscribers reached out to me say yo does i have the free version of the mpc software i don't have an mpc hardware and i don't have a midi keyboard is there a way that i can make beats using that i said okay listen this right here is a regular computer keyboard this regular keyboard can be used as a midi keyboard to create music inside the MPC software all right so today that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how to use the regular computer keyboard to make mute beats inside the MPC beats or the MPC software whichever one you call it that's what we're gonna do today all right let's go let's get it all right let's jump into the software let's go all right so now we inside the software right so the main thing you want to focus on is if you want uh your, your chords and your stuff like first let's not start there let's start with like a drum program let's program some drums real quick all right so what you want to do is you want to come right here to your drum program right let's select the drum program one of my favorite man all right let's select a drum program all right so if you notice on the keyboard I'm hitting it nothing is happening right nothing is happening what you need to do no sounds no nothing right what you need to do is let's let me stop that I don't want to I don't want to touch this at all I don't want to touch the MPC at all I'm only touching only touching the MIDI keyboard right let me bring the camera down a little bit so you can see only touching the MIDI keyboard the um, computer keyboard all right so what you want to do is up here in this corner right here it has like an X because I don't use this but instead of having the cross out of it you hit it one time and you see it turns into like the keypads right so that's this now so now you can use a Z X C and V all right so those four four fingers the first four Z X C V and then the next four which would be your pad five six seven and eight will be A S D F so you just go up you just go up the keyboard so this is one two three one two three four five six seven eight 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 all right so it's 16 pads so these four the first four of all rows those 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 and those all right so that's your pad right there is z x c v a s d f q w e r one two three four that's your 16 pads right there all right so that's what you're going to use to control this software so let's go ahead and just create a real quick uh something so let's hit the real um overdub right here and then hit play from start this one not this play because if you hit this play right here it's going to start playing from right here we want to play from start which is bring it back right here so let's go play from start all right so that's it right that's your first you're kicking your snare so if you want to do a hi-hat if you want to do the t -t 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 -t, what you'll do is you come to the note repeat right here once you're on the note repeat my third this one is my um hi-hat right here so it's the c all right so you'll put it on note repeat right if you wanted to go the 16 or you could change it right here to go to the one eighth Or you could change it to go to the one eighth triplet. So let's do the one eighth, right? And then we're gonna hit record overdub and play from start. All 
All right, so let's stop that. Stop the recording. So we turned off overdub right here. All right, so that's you got your you, you understand now. So that's the the kick, the hat, the, um the the kick, the clap, and the hi hat. All right. So now let's move on to track two, where we're gonna add the keys. All right. So let's go to a program. Let's add something. Let's just add. Uh, I want to add like a piano. Uh, let's let's do let's do that. All right, so we on fabric. Let's find a sound. Piano. Let's find a piano reason why I sound like that because I'm in a lower octave I'm gonna show you how to go into a higher octave give me a second let's do all right so let's do that right so let's move this off the screen now right here we're focusing on right here now right so let's this drop down right here you can go to note and remember your buttons are the Z the first four on every every upper the z first four from the z first four from the a first four from the q and first four from the one so one two three four q w e r a s d f z x c v that's all you need to remember right so these are the notes but you hear how it sound like it's in a lower octave what you need to do is right here come right here to the octave and let's put it on let's put it on zero all right now let's go up to three all right so sometimes your when you open up the mpc it might be on like b or c right up here so what you want to do is go back to a and then switch your octave all right now let's listen that's just notes right all right but let's start with some um let's start with chords so we'll take it off of notes from here and go to chords right and what you want your root note to be let's say a the natural minor octave three as played if you want the um, 135 or the 1357, you can go here. And once I hit Z, uh, Z, it's going to play a chord. If I hit X by itself, it plays a chord. C, chord. V, chord. A, and it keeps going up. All right. So let's lay down some chord. We're going to lay down anything. It's not about the it's not about the beat. It's about showing you how to do it. So let's hit. Let me take my hands off the hardware. Let's hit overdub and play from start. One button. All right. And it gave us the keys. So let's take let's take the overdub off. Copy these and lengthen this. All right. So now, say we want to add top notes over this, right? What you would do is change it from chords. You can either go to chromatic. You can either go to notes. You can either go to um chromatic chords whatever right so let's just go to chromatic it don't matter let's go you still going to be inside the um your scale which is a right so now you can hit any and you will still be in scale right in the key of a i mean all right so what we need to do is go up an octave because we're trying to put them notes on the top so instead of three let's go to four 
or we can go to five. Let's go to five. All right, so now let's hit record. Overdub, I mean, and then play from start. Stop that. It's John I. <laughs> All right. So, is there anything else that I wanted to show you? Um, but that's just the gist of it. So, you could go ahead and just play around some more and figure out, you know, just play around with it. All right. But is, is, it is possible to use your regular um computer keyboard as a midi keyboard in the mpc software all right all you got to remember is the first four from z x c v a s d f q w e r and one two three four all that's all you need to know to make your drums to make your chords to make your top notes to make anything and you can do a full beat inside the mpc software or the mpc beats with just your regular computer keyboard all right catch y'all in the next one man let's go turn it up let's get it